What's up guys? Thought I'd do a video today on changing an inner tie rod. Um, this one's gonna be on a build for the season coming up. So I kind of have everything already stripped out inside the engine bay and everything, there's nothing in there. So it'd be an easier demonstration for me to show you. Um, this is gonna be with a rental tool from AutoZone. Um, I don't do these often enough to go ahead and purchase my own, but for anybody that wants to do it themselves, I thought I'd go ahead and rent the tool from AutoZone, like, which most people would do. Um, for this, you're gonna need a half inch ratchet. Um, these are the new uh, inner tie rods I'm gonna use, they're moves. Um, before you do so, you're gonna wanna find this right, um, not kind of sure, not sure what you'd call this, but the right size to fit around the piece of your tie rod that would screw into the rack and pinion. So now to do this, what you do is, it has a locking mechanism. So what you're gonna wanna do is slide this in once you have that in there, you go ahead and you put this in there. And then on the side, there's a locking piece that slides and locks into it like that. All right, so from here, what you're gonna wanna do is take off your outer tie rod. I already have the, um, the bellow taken off. Um, you're gonna wanna take your cotter pin if you have one, your crown nut. And you're gonna want to loosen up your um, jam nut that pushes against your outer tie rod. What you do is, what I normally do is I keep the jam nut where it was, so you can use that as your reference for when you put your new inner tie rod on for your toe. Make sure that your alignment isn't that off. Those outer tie rods were just recently replaced, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep those. This is the wrong bellow, as you can see, the opening is the wrong size, but I already have a new one to put on, so. Now what you're gonna do from here is, you're gonna go ahead and slide your tool on. And then once you get it in there, you go ahead and hit your piece, put it around the inner side, you go ahead and spin this lock, and then you spin the lock so you don't lose the lock on the tool, so you don't lose the uh, attachment piece, so as you can see it's locked on there, and from there, let me slide you back a little bit, you grab your half inch, and you go ahead and so I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys what the inside will look like. Once you get a loose, you can just spin like that. From that point, you can go ahead and release the lock on the tool. Slide this out. You can take your key off, and then you can hand loosen it up. All right, once you get the old one out, what you wanna do is just put them side by side, make sure they're fairly close. Um, as you can see on this new one, I can kinda of just move it, flops around. This one, I can't even move it. So that's a telltale sign that the uh, inside of it's kinda of junk. Um, like I mentioned before, this boot I'm gonna reuse on this one, but this was the jam nut that I took off of when the outer tie rod was here. So you wanna line this one up with this one. Um, in my case, we actually, for what I use this car for, we run toe out for oval racing. So it doesn't really matter when we get to, when we get to the track. I have to measure the toe out anyway. I run about a quarter inch toe out. So in my case, it doesn't really matter. But for you, I would kind of try to line up the uh, jam nuts. Um, I still would recommend getting the alignment before you go ahead and drive it. Let me go ahead and place some blue Loctite on here. would help if this was cut. Uh. 
And then, like I said before, I'm gonna reuse this red boot. I'm gonna go ahead and take this jam nut off. Now in my case where I'm gonna take these off, I'm actually going to grab a white paint marker. So we'll go ahead and put a white paint marker there so we can know how far to put our jam nut back on. So we'll go ahead and screw this off. Slide this new boot on. Like I said, obviously, if I was you, I would still get the vehicle aligned because this is going to mess with the toe big time. You want to make sure that the threads are the same. Okay, so from here, we will go ahead and slide our tool back on, slide the sleeve back on, put that in, and then go ahead and lock it. And then from here, what you're going to want to do is grab the torque specs on yours. And then I will show you how to put the bellow back on. The next, this is the new bellow that I got. As you can see, it's the correct one and not the off the shelf AutoZone one. Um, I did have to take the jam nut off of the tie rod to be able to slide it in. All right, so. I myself personally don't like those metal bands. Um, so what I'm gonna do myself is I'm gonna go ahead and use, once you get the inside bellow boot over the lip, go ahead, I myself use a zip tie, but you can go ahead and use the provided metal band clip if you'd like. Once that's done, I did go ahead and find a where did I put it? metal tension clip for the inside of the boot. Once that is on there, you can go ahead and put back your jam nut to the marked location. Like so. Go ahead and go ahead and put back on our outer tie rod And we can go ahead and put our crown nut back on.
Go ahead and put your cotter pin back in. I'm reusing mine because this is fairly new. And there you go. That's how you change an inner tie rod with a AutoZone rental tool.